Good day everyone. I am Ansha Lowe of the Antarctic Legacy of South Africa and this talk is about creating 360 degrees footage of the South African National Antarctic Station, Sanai 4. I firstly want to give you a quick background about Antarctic Legacy of South Africa. The program preserves and promotes South Africa's Antarctic legacy. The preserving part of the program or of the project is done through our online archive and we also promote South Africa's involvement in the Antarctic region. And this is done through various mediums, the South African National Antarctic um, Program website and also the Antarctic Legacy of South Africa website and the ALSA social media platforms. So the 360 degree footage is located on the South African National Antarctic Program um, website and, the Al and ALSA is currently the managers of this website. And we, we saw this gap for 360 degrees footage for the website and um, capturing the material was a totally new field for ALSA, but we, we grabbed on this opportunity with both hands. So why, why would we want 360 degrees um, footage on this website? So firstly, we wanted it to feature on the website to be open accessible for anyone that wants to view the South African National Antarctic Station um, wh whether it's students or future collaborators, this, this footage just needed to be open access. So we wanted it to be available for future overwinters, which was a big motivation for having this available. And also anyone that wants to visit the station, then for job specific team training so that that could be used for that reason. And then also available for family and friends that's left behind by overwinters. Then lastly, also available for museums connecting Cape Town to Antarctica. And this collaboration with museums is still in underway. And so I won't go into further detail about that at this stage. But um, so this is the main reasons behind South Africa gathering this um, 360 footage for the program website. So we, we were very fortunate to get our hands on this design of the, of the station, which was given to us by Royal House Koning DHV, which was the resident engineers on the recent base refurbishment. This refurbishment was completed in end of 2018, beginning of 2019 takeover. And so we could use this design, which was given to us freely um, to portray the 360 degrees footage. So one can simply click on a block. The base is quite large, so it's separated into different blocks. And then also the A, B link entrance or the B, C link entrance. So you can go in with a different entrance. You can view a different block. And the base is also, it's a double story. So you can choose, do you want to view the upper level or do you want to view the lower level, level by clicking on this area and selecting the floor that you would like to view. So it's very easy to go through the station. You can either click on any one of the rooms that you would like to view. You will notice some of the areas, for example, the dark room. We have no footage currently of that. So the reason being is, as I mentioned, um, the refurbishment. So we went to the station during the last phase of refurbishment. That was our gap that we could use to visit the station. Hence, there was still um, a lot of construction, final construction regarding um, the station that 
basically meant that there were a few areas that weren't captured and some areas that were capture, captured still under refurbishment will just need to be recaptured at some stage. So if you go through this and notice a bit chaos in some areas, um, it's due to the base refurbishment. So you can either click on the, on the specific room you want to view or a very nice option is to go through the steps and follow by clicking here on the website. You will be able to view the, the station in a more of a virtual reality type of experience and work your way through the station by clicking through and walking through the whole area, um, which is a nice option to view the station. So the advantage of having this material on the website for the overwinterers, um, this, this material will give them the chance to familiarize themselves with the environment before they even get to the continent. So many overwinterers have no idea what to expect um, of living and working in Antarctica. So it's not always easy to prepare for the isolation, the confinement, and the challenges you will face during an Antarctic expedition. So we can just hope that this material will help them to better prepare for this expedition. Just knowing what a bedroom looks like, um, just knowing there's a place for sticking up some personal photos, they know they have their own desk, um, just to work your way through the station and familiarizing yourself with the with the, your new environment before getting there is a big advantage for overwinterers. And we, this material went up at the end of last year on the website, so we haven't had overwinterers using this before getting to the station. Um, but we are looking for looking forward to some feedback of new overwinterers that had a chance to, to work their way through the station before getting there. So this is just a flat image of, um, of a meteorological office. So for the meteorological technician going to the island, he will know exactly what is available for him in his office, um, which is a great advantage for them. Then this material can also be used in job specific team training to help them to prepare for, for their specific job. So this is, for example, the generator room. The diesel mechanic can use this for training before leaving for Antarctica. He can maneuver his way in between the generators, seeing how the pipes are connected, um, just getting to know his way around and seeing what he will be working with is a great advantage. So the material will be used by family and friends, which is also very nice for them to see and just to familiarize themselves with the, their loved one's new environment. Um, yeah, so just a bit more about the experience that I personally had gathering this material. Um, on the left is myself taking a 360 image through my cell phone, um, which is connected to the GoPro Fusion. I'm hiding behind the third generator or the second generator to take an image of the first. Um, yeah, and then to the right is Ria Willifeed and myself, my colleague, um, just before we... I think we we had a chopper ride somewhere okay so it was an interesting journey to capture this footage as the Sanar base was still under the last phase of refurbishment as i've just mentioned so we had opportunity to to visit the station january 2019 and we only had a few days to gather this footage but luckily or yeah lucky for us we had very bad weather and we couldn't return to South Africa immediately and we had a few extra days to get this project done. So the base was packed with people, with researchers, base personnel, um, construction workers. It was extremely busy. 
and I had to work my way around this busy daily activities of the base. Um, so most of the capturing was done during late nights and early mornings, as this busy environment isn't really what we wanted to portray through this footage, especially for overwinters. They shouldn't think that this is what they, they can expect during the year, because it will only be a, ten, a team of maximum 10 people, and it will be quiet, it will be clean and neat, and um, yeah, so they, they can expect a lot of empty spaces and um, a large base which is silent. So we wanted to portray that through through the through the material. So we also, even though we wanted to capture the, the area as neat and clean and quiet as possible, we still wanted to capture the reality at base. So people making coffee, um, people eating cake, <laughs> just just the, the daily activities of the base, even though this was now in the busy takeover period. So there will be some photos where there will be people captured in it. For example, people working in the laboratory um, is one where, where we did capture people. But it did take some careful planning and consideration as to the perfect moment to capture the images as we did not want to invade the lives and the work of the personnel um, that was currently at the station. But the people were so accommodating and patient and played along very well for me to, to, take, the, to take the footage. So um, this is a team of construction workers that had to hide around the corner. And then I had an opportunity to take an image of the hallway. This is a guy painting, so just to show you how busy it was. Um, yeah, so some of the moments just never weren't perfect, and we we captured part of the refurbishment, etc. So some areas will need to be recaptured at some stage, as I've mentioned. So we also had some time and internet access to post some images on Instagram which was fantastic for the general public and people of South Africa and other countries that followed this journey with us of gathering this material. And um, I'm sure a lot of these people that followed us and we could excite through these images are now also very pleased with the, with the footage that is online and open accessible. So this is just me playing around with the camera just before we left for Antarctica, um, left Antarctica. Yeah, so as you can see, I really enjoyed the camera, the GoPro Fusion, which is the GoPro 360 camera. And it can take fantastic images and I recently also posted um, a beautiful tiny planet or tiny world as they call this images and this type of footage and um, you can imagine there's no place like Antarctica to take something like this because all you see is blue and white and whatever else sticks out like the station so it's just absolutely beautiful. I mentioned this was the first time Elsa did take footage such as this and it will not be the last. Our next project will hopefully be the SO Galas 2 and then after the Marion Island Research Station. So we hope collaborators can use this material to maneuver their way around our stations and our ship to see what we can offer. So I will make the standing operating procedure available for those of you that's interested. And yeah, so please, I would just ask anyone watching this video, um, go and have a look at the 360 material and I would like to know what you think. And please do not hesitate to send me any questions or any comments. That would be much appreciated. Thank you very much for listening.